everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be filming a Q&A video because I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't know what else to film and I thought I haven't filmed a Q&A in a while. So I put a post on my Instagram earlier on and I basically just asked you guys for some questions and I've got quite a few so I'm just going to go through them and answer them. This was the post that I put in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of questions, actually there's quite a few, so I'm just going to work my way through them and yeah, let you guys know. I'm going to put this out there, I'm sorry if I keep fiddling with my hair, it's pissing me off because I've just washed it this morning um, and it's a bit fluffy and frizzy and it's just not really working with me so I'm going to try and leave it alone but I can't promise anything. Um, I've actually had a really productive morning this morning, it's Saturday when I'm filming this so the day before you guys watch it, um, I know very last minute of me but I've had a very busy week and I basically, yeah, just had a very busy week so I'm only just getting around to filming the video now um, but yeah this morning I actually put a toner on my hair like a grey toner to try and make it a bit less yellowy it has sort of done the trick so yeah quite happy with that um, I also really wanted to go to the gym this morning but it's still freezing cold outside we've had a lot of snow recently and it's just horrible it's pouring it down right now um, so I didn't want to go so I did a workout in my room I put my yoga mat on the floor and just did like a 15-20 minute workout and then had a shower washed my hair whitened my teeth and yeah just had like a little pamper morning so I'm now getting down to this filming the video and then I will edit it afterwards so yeah shut up Emily let's just get on with the video first question is what is your favorite and least favorite thing about uni okay my favorite thing about uni is probably the fact that I am on a course that I absolutely love and I can see myself actually doing something with it in the future um, I look forward to going into uni most days there are a few lessons that I don't enjoy um, but the ones I do I get really excited about going to uni for and I don't ever dread doing my work I'm always excited about doing my work so that's probably my favorite thing um, and my least favorite thing I would say is probably just being so far away from home like if I want to go and chat to my mum like obviously I can FaceTime her and stuff like that but if I want to go home and I want to see my family it does take a good couple of hours on the train and I have to change trains halfway and it's just a bit of a pain like not being so close to home and before I moved I didn't think I would actually miss being home and I do miss it a lot more than I thought so I do actually go home quite a lot but yeah that's probably like the worst thing because I love everything else there's nothing else about uni that I don't like um, the next question is do you prefer sit down structured videos like makeup tutorials or vlogs 100% um, vlogs I never really watch sit down videos anymore I do if they're about something that I want to watch but I never watch makeup tutorials I can't remember the last time I watched a makeup tutorial to be honest um, I much prefer vlogs and my favorite types of videos to watch are what I eat in a day video um, so or just anything about food really because I just love food and I'm really nosy so I like to know what people eat um, so if you have a YouTube channel and you make what I eat in a day videos or anything food related leave a link down below and I'll check it out Next question is, what surprised you most about moving away from home? Probably what I just said about the fact that I actually missed it a lot more than I thought I would. What is your favourite thing about having a YouTube channel and how do people react when you tell them you do YouTube? Okay, my favourite thing about having a YouTube channel is just like the feedback that you get and the lovely kind of like almost friends that you make through YouTube like I get the same sort of people comment on my Instagram posts and my YouTube videos and I have like a few girls that I talk to or people that I actually message only because they know me through YouTube so it's really nice to kind of network with people and you just meet people that you never would have met if you didn't do YouTube um, and then how do people react so I don't know it's it's a bit of a strange one it depends what generation you're talking to if you tell somebody of maybe an older generation they don't really get it they think it's a bit strange um, but if I tell people my age so like when I first joined uni and I obviously told everyone that I lived with what I did and I tell people on my course and stuff like I told everyone on the first day of uni what I did because I thought I'm just gonna get it out the way um, they all like are really interested in it I think it's really cool and loads of people I've had actually ask me about it and say like I'd really like to start my own channel so yeah it is like it's a lot more common these days to have a YouTube channel I guess and people are a lot more accepting of it but some yeah some older people don't really get it so I just tend to not really tell them favorite MAC lipstick I probably have to go for Whirl um, I never really wear lipstick anymore I've got a lip gloss on today which is a MAC one 
can't remember what it's called, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, but yeah, I don't really tend to wear lipstick anymore, not even just MAC, just like lipstick in general. I find it too drying on my lips, especially in winter time, I like to have a gloss or basically just lip balm. I pretty much just wear lip balm every day, but if I had to choose it, it would probably be MAC Swirl, which is like a matte kind of nudie brown colour, it's really really nice. How do you stay motivated at uni, like with your workload? Okay, so how do I stay motivated? Um, I do think I keep up with my work. I don't like to get behind and I do try and balance going out and drinking <laughs> with my work. Um, but I personally use going out and having fun or like making plans with friends, so whether that's going to the pub or going on a night out or going to the cinema with friends um, or just like doing anything I want to do, even if it's just like go for a meal, I'll sort of say to myself, right, well, if you're going to go out this night and drink and do whatever you want, then the next day you have to set a certain amount of time to do your uni work and get on with it. So I basically just balance. Um, one thing that really does help is I've got a planner that I keep on my desk and I basically write every day what I'm going to do and I make to-do lists and stuff and I make sure that I'm keeping up with my work and I make sure that I'm balancing having fun and also <laughs> getting my work done. I say that I really need to do some uni work. I did a little bit last night because I had a night in, um, everyone was kind of like doing their own thing so I thought I'm gonna like shut myself in my room and do a bit of work so I sat at my desk for a few hours, got some work done but apart from that I haven't really done anything this weekend and I need to because I've had a four day weekend so I'm gonna get some more work done this afternoon I think because I'm going out tonight so I need to tell myself if you want to go out tonight you need to do some more work so yeah I basically just balance it. Did you do A levels and what do you plan to do after uni? Um, I didn't do A levels, no. I did, uh, they're not even B techs, what are they called? Is it a B tech? I don't know. I basically left um, school, I went to college um, and I did beauty, what's it even called? I want to say beauty promotion but that's what I'm doing right now. Basically like beauty therapy, that's the one. I did level one and two of beauty therapy um, no I didn't, I did level 2 and 3 of beauty therapy, so 2 years, and then I really didn't like it and I thought I don't want to go into the like beauty industry as in like working in a salon, I really didn't enjoy it, um, I enjoyed working with people but I just didn't enjoy doing the treatments, I was like this is not for me, it's not fulfilling enough for me, um, so I then did a hair and makeup design course at the same college, which I really liked, um, I didn't like the hair side as much, I much preferred doing actual makeup, so then in my head I thought okay maybe I want to be a makeup artist, and then I got a job at MAC um, two Christmases ago as a Christmas temp, which I loved, but it made me realise I don't want to be a makeup artist as a living. Um, I do really enjoy it, but I don't want that to be my job at the end of uni. I don't want it to be my career. Um, and I then went back to MAC again this Christmas just gone, and I would happily do it again next Christmas because I do love it. It's a great experience. I love everyone that works in there, and I do really, really enjoy it when I'm there, but I don't want to be a makeup artist um, after uni so the course I'm doing is beauty promotion which I have spoke about I'm probably going to do a full-on video about it at some point and just go over like everything about the course once I feel like I can because right now you know I've only been there for like six months so I want to do a full year of the course and then do a video on it um if you guys are interested in that let me know um but yeah so the course I'm doing focuses a lot more on the written side so you get to do like PR marketing um, kind of more like journalism but to do with the fashion and beauty industry you get to learn a lot but it covers basically everything so I'm not entirely sure what I want to go into I think probably something to do with the editorial side of stuff so like writing columns for magazines that sort of thing because I did a unit on that before Christmas which I really enjoyed so probably something to do with that somebody asked is it snowing at the moment wherever you are yes so I'm in Southampton that's where I go to uni yes it is snowing well currently raining um, but it has been snowing for the last few days and honestly we had snow like this deep oh, what did I just drop we had crazy deep snow it was literally like covering your shoes deep um, it was really fun but I'm kind of fed up of it now because it means I can't go to uni and I can't go out and do anything like this morning I wanted to go to the gym but I was like it's too gross and cold outside so I did my workout in my room how did you decide who your flatmates were going to be or did the uni just do it randomly? So the uni did it randomly, that's pretty much how halls work, um, you don't get to choose who you live with except for 
Um, all of the boys in my flat did already know each other before we moved in. I don't know how they did it, but they basically requested that the same group of them got to go in the same flat. So all of the guys knew each other, so it was just the girls that were new to the flat. Um, I don't think you can really put your flat together, but I suppose if you know someone that's going to the same uni, there's no harm in asking if you can be put in the same halls, um, if that's what you were wondering. Um, how do you get such good lighting for your YouTube videos? Is there any equipment you use? If so, what? Thank you. I wasn't aware my lighting was good. I don't particularly like it that much. I feel like it's very hit and miss. Um, the lighting I currently use right now is a ring light. I cannot for the life of me remember the brand. It doesn't say it on it, I don't think. No. Again, I'll try and leave it in the description box down below. But it's basically just a ring light that I have right in front of me. And that is it. I turn all the rest of the lights off in my bedroom and just have my fairy lights. Which, actually, you can't really see. But I have fairy lights and then my ring light and that is it. Um, and the camera I use is the Canon 600D. So yeah, that is what I do. And if I film my videos back home, so if my background isn't this background, it's the different one, um, I basically have two box lights and they're from the brand Photocell. So that's the lighting I have at home. What is your ultimate comfort food and why? Macaroni cheese any day, all day. I could eat it all the time. It's just my favorite food. Probably not comfort food, but it's just my favorite food ever in life. Um, but if I'm like feeling a bit crap and I just want to eat something that is going to make me feel happy then it's either mac and cheese or pizza. What are your favourite high street shops and where do you get your style inspiration? My current favourite high street shop is probably H&M. Every time I go in there I just want everything. I feel like the style I like at the moment is just spot on in H&M. Other than that I love Urban Outfitters but it's super expensive so I try not to go in there. Um, I also love Topshop and they're probably my three favourites. And style inspiration, I just kind of, I read a lot of magazines now. I try to read at least one magazine a week just because with my course that I'm on, we're supposed to read a lot of stuff. So I try and read magazines. Um, so I get inspiration in those, but mostly just Instagram, like scrolling through. I can't really think of any specific accounts, but just generally Instagram. Or if I'm going out and I have like, say I know I want to wear blue jeans, but I don't know anything else I wanna put with it, I'll go on Pinterest and just type in blue jeans outfit and get inspiration that way, it's a very good tip. What's your favorite makeup product at the moment? I'm gonna to have to go with my foundation. Um, it's the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation that comes in like the glass, uh, frosted glass bottle. I absolutely love it. I bought one couple of years ago now and I only used to use it when I was going on a night out because the coverage is amazing and it's very expensive but because I now know how much I love it I have to use it every day like if I put another foundation on I just think my skin looks gross so that is my favorite foundation and my favorite makeup product at the moment <laughs> Imogen from my course just asked me what would be harder to give up coffee or alcohol definitely alcohol as much as I love coffee like I could just drink tea instead, but alcohol, I do like to go out and have a few drinks. How do you make sure no one steals your stuff in your flat? That's one thing I'm worried about living in uni halls. What do I do if my roommates are horrible people? I'm sure that won't happen, um, but at the end of the day, it is just down to luck who you end up living with. Um, I have had a few things like pinched from my fridge, like cheese is one thing that people love. I remember a few months ago I bought a packet of the little mini Cathedral City cheeses and I only ate two of them and then I went in to get another one and the rest had gone so somebody ate those. Um, but apart from that and like maybe the odd bit of milk and stuff people don't really take anything but that's just because I'm really lucky with my flatmates like we all just it's just stupid like why would you steal someone else's stuff because you wouldn't want someone to steal your stuff so I don't really see the point in it I don't really get it um but at the end of the day if you end up living with somebody and you know you find that you have problems and stuff you've just got to talk about it like you have to bring up issues like we quite often have things in our flat that happen and we have to kind of like we have a little group chat so it makes it a bit less awkward if you have a problem um you can just message the group chat and be like right look who has taken this out of the fridge like I don't mind but can you just like not do it again you know it's just communication is the best way like if you just don't say anything or if somebody's doing something that's really bugging you like you can say something but at the end of the day you learn that people have different ways of doing things and that is one thing about uni it's one thing about experiencing things and just like 
changing your mindset completely. Um, I feel like my mindset towards other people is so different now because you live with you know, I live with nine other people and I didn't know a single one of them before I came here. I was used to cooking in my kitchen at home, being in my own little space and not dealing with anyone else. But now you are 24 seven living with people you don't know and you get to know their habits. You get to know sort of how they wash up and how they cook and how messy they are, that kind of thing. But you, you have just got to deal with it unless obviously it's getting ridiculous you can probably like report it or something but we've never had to do that and I have been really lucky in my flat that we do all get on really well you have your ups and downs like we kind of after a few months of being at uni it was a bit we had a bit of tension in our flat but that's all fine now because you just realize people are different and you have your differences and that's okay but you just have to put them aside because at the end of the day you are living with them so you've just got to try your best to get on with them um how was your experience being vegan are you considering being vegan full-time i'm definitely not considering being vegan full-time unfortunately i wish i could say i was but it really just wasn't for me um i've said this before in the video that i made about failing being a vegan um but see so yeah, i was meant to be doing vegan february for a whole month i did it for the majority of the month but near the end i just i just couldn't do it like it, i wasn't happy in the food i was eating i feel like in some situations it's probably a lot easier like just being at uni and stuff is not easy to be vegan like if i want to grab a snack when i'm out and about or i haven't made a packed lunch and it's lunchtime and i need to get some food there's nothing i can eat and like I don't know I just really wasn't enjoying it but I do eat a lot of vegan food anyway and I hardly ever eat dairy I don't eat meat or fish anyway I've been vegetarian for like eight years eight or nine years um so yeah the only thing really is just things with like hidden dairy in or I really love ice cream so I have been eating ice cream since I've been eating cheese um and yeah I think maybe in the future I will try it again maybe once I have graduated from uni or next year when I live in a house I might try it then um but yeah I'm not gonna go back to being vegan at the moment also how did you make how did you manage to make friends at uni uh was it luck that you got put with the right people um good question so how did I make friends at uni obviously you make friends in your flat because you all get put together and you are living together and you just sort of have to make friends um luckily enough we did actually all really get on and you guys know Erin the girl with the red hair I made really good friends with her within literally a couple of days we were like this like we were so close within a few days we knew everything about each other and we were just like suddenly suddenly best friends um we don't spend as much time together now just because uni is uni like you end up making other friends you end up making friends on your course you meet people through other people you meet people on nights out like if you get a job you're going to meet people that way so when you first move like you feel like the people in your flat are the only people you're going to make friends with and you have to spend all of your time with them obviously I wanted to spend my time with Erin like we got on amazingly we still do we're still like really good friends don't get me wrong um but she spends more time with her friends and she's got a boyfriend now she's with one of the boys in our flat so she spends more time with him and she spends time with her flatmates not her flatmates her course mates um as do I I'm now better friends with people on my course than what I was at the beginning um sometimes it just takes a bit of time and you'll just end up with different groups of people and that is absolutely fine so you've just got to like keep it balanced I guess which is what we do you know I spend time with people in my flat I spend time with people on my course and then yeah that's just kind of the way it works it's not really luck it's just about finding the people that you really get on with and you might find that in freshers you make friends and then after that you don't really see them as much because it was kind of like a forced thing um but you will find your friends and it's okay it just might take time um have you got any new tattoos yes i'm so happy you asked me this question uh yes i have i got a tattoo like three days ago it's on my ankle i will try and film a clip and pop it in now so you guys can see it um i got it done in southampton at a place called crow and quill it was by a guy called ashley and i'm honestly so happy with it it's basically yeah just like a little hand holding some flowers and he designed it for me so no one else has got that tattoo which i love i love the fact that it's like unique and no one else has got it um so yeah that is my new tattoo and i'm completely in love with it and i really want another one and the last question is what piece of clothing is your favorite to wear um i'm probably gonna have to be really really boring and go with the jeans i'm wearing um i will try and show you 
probably not going to work. They're basically ASOS petite jeans. Um, again, I'll try and link them below if I can. But they're just black skinny jeans. They're kind of high-waisted. And my favourite thing about them is that they've got a belt loop so I can wear a belt with them. And they're really cropped as well so you can see my tattoos on my ankles which I love. Um, but yeah, I will try and show you guys. Probably not going to work, is it? <laughs> can you see them? They're basically just high-waisted jeans. And then yeah, they're really cropped at the ankle. Actually, I can show you my tattoo again. Is it gonna work? Probably not. These jeans are too tight, but I'll put a clip in anyway. So they are all of the questions you guys asked me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sending me in a question if you did. Um, please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click subscribe down below. Not sure which side it is. Um, if you haven't subscribed already because then you'll be notified of my videos. I upload every Sunday and occasionally, occasionally an extra one not very often. So I hope you guys are all having a fab weekend or have had a fab weekend. Uh, let me know down below if you've had snow and whereabouts you live and how much snow you had and what you did and if you had fun in the snow. Um, I really need a coffee. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm going a bit mad. Um, but yes, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Goodbye!